Hello. On behalf of our radiography class, we welcome you to our presentation. The purpose of this presentation is to serve as a basic introductory primer to all those involved in diagnostic imaging who would like to know some of the pros and cons of traditional film screen radiography, computed radiography, and digital radiography. Advantages and Disadvantages of Traditional Film Screen, Computer, and Digital Radiography Let's begin with a brief overview of what each imaging system is. In screen film radiography, the receptor consists of the film mounted in contact with either one or two intensifying screens. Intensifying screens are thin sheets or layers of fluorescent materials. The screen film combination is housed in either a cassette or a film changer. The X-ray energy is absorbed by the intensifying screen material and a portion of it is converted into light. The light, in turn, exposes the film. Intensifying screens are used because film is much more sensitive to light than to X-radiation. Approximately 100 times as much X-radiation would be required to expose a film without using intensifying screens. Unfortunately, intensifying screens introduce blurring into the imaging process and places a limit on the visibility of detail that must be considered when selecting screens for specific clinical applications. The principles of X-ray have been around since 1895, but how we process them has changed dramatically throughout the years. In this demonstration, a technologist is taking a chest radiograph using the traditional film screen method. Once the radiograph has been taken, the real processing begins. Let the waiting begin! All three systems have their own distinct advantages and disadvantages. Some of the advantages of traditional film screen is that they're tried and true and have been used for decades. Some of the disadvantages of traditional film include the chemicals must be stored, refreshed, and disposed of periodically and properly. Often they take up a dark room, which takes up valuable real estate. Film is difficult to store. The image cannot be adjusted once it's taken. Now let's hear what our Director of Radiology, Faye Camrath's opinions are. Obviously you can't have an electronic health record if you're still um, attached to film and have film that has to be um, sent to different locations to be viewed. The other reasons um, tended to um, be due to uh, logistics um, and problems that we had. Um, with our current processes. Despite our best efforts, it never failed that um, films would not end up at the right spot at the right time. We had surgeries that, that couldn't proceed because the films just didn't get there in time. We had patient um, visits to their physician that needed to be rescheduled because the films that the doctor needed to review with the patients didn't get there in time. We had films, frankly, that got lost and then we had to repeat the studies at no cost, which obviously is not, is not efficient and it's not good for the patients and causes additional radiation exposure. Another perspective comes from respected radiologist Dr. Paul Larson. I don't miss film and when I go back to places that are purely have film, 
I actually missed the CR and I missed the PAC system. When discussing digital x-ray, there are two types of systems to choose from. Computed radiography refers to imaging technology using an intermediate process, phosphor plates. The phosphor plates in their cassettes are exposed to the x-ray the same way as film. During exposure, the x-ray radiation is absorbed in the phosphor plate forming the latent image. The latent images are extracted from the plates when a laser beam generated inside the reader illuminates the phosphor plate. The laser beam provides enough energy to reverse the latent image formation process, causing the plates to emit photons of light. The photons are detected and translated into an image that can be enhanced or manipulated, processed and displayed on the monitor, transmitted electronically or printed out on paper or transparent film, similar to x-ray. This technology has been around since the 1980s. In this demonstration, the technologist is taking a chest radiograph using the computed radiography method. What? No dark room? Well, the image reader takes the place of the dark room. The images are checked for quality and then sent via Picture Archive Computer System, or PACS, directly to the radiologist reading the image. Some of the advantages of computed radiography include less file space. Bye bye, dark room. See a film. Adios, chemicals. Sayonara, file room. Later, flasher. Hasta la vista, processor. CR can be retrofitted to existing X-ray equipment. Um, the reason that we went with CR, uh, frankly, is, is because it's less expensive and um, it allows us to keep the equipment that we already had and a lot of our equipment was in very good shape and probably not ready yet to be replaced. One thing they allow us to get to the digital environment with the least amount of cost. So from someone in my position, that's very important. Excellent image quality. The algorithms that are loaded into the system we have seem to convert the digital information very nicely so that the images look very close to what the radiologists were used to looking at with film. And that's not true sometimes of all vendors. Sometimes there's an adjustment to the look. And I think with the vendor that we're using and the products that we have, um, the radiologists have been very pleased with the quality. And whenever the radiologists are very pleased, then I'm very pleased too. So. But to really get the full benefits, you really need to be looking at them in a PAX environment where you can manipulate the images. Once we're able to manipulate the images, window level obviously in particular, as well as panning, zooming, things of that sort, then we can be a lot more interactive with the films. And in some areas, particularly a chest x-ray, whereas we know we have very different densities throughout the chest, all of which may be in important areas, we can optimize the same image in multiple different areas sequentially to look at the whole image better and, and sometimes come up with diagnoses we wouldn't come up with before on film. Information sharing. As soon as the image is taken and is, is sent to the PACS, it is available to be viewed by any physician throughout the system. I think it enhances the consultation experience. It allows more consultations to happen because they're much more um, um, friendly to the physician. And ultimately, I think it results in better patient care. Digital storage. Improved diagnostic accuracy. Wide range of exposure latitude. Compact storage. Mobile radiography can be easily accomplished and better cost effectiveness. For one thing, they allow us to get to the digital environment with the least amount of cost. So from someone in my position, that's very important. 